We're working in 15 districts uh, in the high forest zone. And I think in the 15 districts, we're working with about 75 communities. Communities that are fringing the forest um, within five kilometer radius, they're entitled to 5% stampage of the trees that are cut by the timber companies. And that is what we call SRE. But over the years, what we realized that even though it is in law, most timber companies normally get, even get their permits without even signing SRE with the communities. So we build capacity of communities to assert their rights, to know what their rights are, what the rights of other stakeholders are, what their responsibilities are, what the responsibilities of other stakeholders are, so that they can be able to engage by themselves. Where they need support, we give them the necessary uh, capacity, awareness creation to enable them to engage. But uh, if you are your school, you are a and you are a teacher, and you teachers Bangalore. If you are a teacher, you are a teacher, and you are a teacher, and you are a blog, and you are a teacher. When they come back from awareness creation trainings, they come and form the SRE committees, which is supposed to be made up of diverse groups of people, and then they discuss what the communities need. We have seen that in Ghana we don't have SRE database. So you don't know even where SRE has been implemented, whether they have signed or not. So it's hardly for you to even track and know whether timber contractors are fulfilling their obligations or not. So we have developed a database of um, all timber companies that have received timber rights and ensuring that all these timber companies are actually uh, fulfilling their rights to communities as far as SRA enforcement is concerned. This database will eventually be with the Forestry Commission and they will build on it annual, annually and becomes a live, uh, a live system that makes information available on who are complying with SRA and who are, who are not. Mm -hmm.